So what is independent validation and verification? And I want you to focus on one word that I said here, independent. Validation has to be conducted in an independent manner by statute. It's the law. So in other words, if you are the developer, you cannot validate your own system. Why? Because you're actually confirming the obvious. If you build it, of course you believe it works. It's not objective. The FDA won't accept it. So when you look at validation and verification, and I'm going to talk about all three of these, first principle that you have to understand is validation has to be conducted independently. So you need an independent partner in order to work with you on validation. If you're the integrator, you can't validate your own product. So what's the definition of validation from the FDA's perspective? It's the process. Okay, I'm going to say that word again. It's the process. Validation is not IQOQPQ. Some people already know those terms. Uh, they think validation is all about testing. Testing is a part of validation, but it is not indeed validation in and of itself. So it's part of it. Validation is the process of providing documented evidence. So in life sciences, here's an old adage, and actually an FDA auditor quoted this one time. He said, if it's not documented, it didn't happen. So what does that mean? If you don't document everything that you're doing, according to the agency, it didn't happen. So I had a, a client was talking to me one day and he said, we conducted our IQ test scripts and we did our OQ test scripts. I said, let me see. He hands me the OQ test scripts and I said, well, you didn't confirm the installation of AX. They didn't have anything for the AOS server. And he says, oh, we did that. No, you didn't. It's not written down here anywhere. If you went in front of an auditor, they never believe you in a million years. So it's documented evidence that provides the evidence you need to say that the software consistently, underline the word consistently, performs according to its intended use. If you understand this definition of validation, you'll know what all the hoopla is about around validation. Validation is simply that documented evidence that says that this system will continuously produce the results that you want it to do. So here's another thing that you have to understand. So when I'm doing validation, can I do validation with actu uh, out actually defining requirements? No, I can't. Why? Because the requirements process determines the intended use for the customer. So remember I said, every life sciences company does things slightly different. That's why you can't do validation out of the box. It's no such thing. Because customer X is going to do it differently than customer Y, who's going to do it differently from customer Z, who's going to do it totally different from the biotech company. So they all have different unique requirements. And that's what we're trying to confirm. We're trying to confirm that it consistently